Okay, hello everyone. This is a short video about my project. Today I'm trying to fix the uh, old cassette deck. Nothing special, just broken belt. So I ordered the belt. It's a cheap belt. Order it on the eBay and comes from the China. Belt was installed. And uh, in the next step, for alignment the head position, playback level and motor speed, I used the test cassetta. <laughs> it was funny but on the mouse telescope I got a horrible signal, huge distortion and huge detonation. So <laughs> deck was again disassembled and pulled it off the belt and now let's see what's going on. Here in the left hand I have the high quality belt, original usually and expensive. In the right hand I have cheap <laughs> belt. And for first, let's see how it looks like. How it looks like this surface. Um, let's do this closer, probably. And uh, let me play with the focus. Okay, I guess this is gonna be enough. Well, You can see the left belt has a smooth and beautiful surface. Right belt, um, not so well. This is a first difference between quality and cheap. In the next step, let's measure the thickness of the belt. Point fifty six, point fifty six, fifty six, fifty six, and again, and again, and again. Okay, look like we have a really highly quality and precision belt. Let's take another one. And do same with cheap belt. 0.66, not so bad. 63, 64, 68, 62, <laughs> 70, nice. Okay. Like you see, the thickness of the belt is different and it creating, um, I don't know how to explain, but it will work not correct because all time belt will do something like a wobbling, you know, vibration, because thickness is different. So never use, if you want to get a good quality sound from your cassette deck, always trying to find the high quality belt and how to check is this quality or no, because you can pay a lot of the money <laughs> and then finally you will have the again cheap belt, low quality. So now we know the simple way how to check quality of the belt. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.